Do you hear it, guys? The first bell of the new academic period. No grade point averages, no academic probations, just a wide open new semester. It'll be a breeze. I can feel it. Um, PA, did you see what we have first period? No. Not Woodshop with Mr. Reason. Ugh, Pepper Ann, the stories can't possibly be true. Hey, Nick, don't crush the dream. Ever since your sister Becky... Becky... told us about Reason, I've wanted to see his grumpus, surly splendor in action. Please, like how he once made a misbehaving kid whittle his desk into a jail cell. Or how he made another kid faint just by scowling really hard at him. Or how he makes everyone use every piece of machinery in the shop at least once a week, including the... <gasps> Lathe. Pepper Ann, he's only a teacher. Loosen up and shoot the Searle Curl, P.A. Angry teachers, when kept in proper perspective, can be quite entertaining. Yeah, okay. Ha, <sighs> loosen up. <sighs> Last name? Pearson. Sit down. Pearson here wasn't watching where she was jive walking, and look what happened. Next time, she might get her hand caught in the dreaded lathe. <gasps> or she could be at the jigsaw and start dreaming about some music video and wind up with one of these. <laughs> During Woodshop, you give your full attention to whatever you do, or you will get injured. Okay. It's just a sander. I can do this. Here we go. Just ah! go ahead and sand, Pearson. I'm just... I just don't want to wind up with a hook. You're not going to wind up with a hook. You've got your hands above the workpiece, you've got your guards up, and you're already moving the board to reduce the heat. Just... You can do this. If people don't do what they can do, I flunk them. Understand? Now do it. Good. No one flunks today. Ugh, I do not care for that man. Oh, think fuzzy. Gym class is next. Forget dodgeball. Forget jumping on your little trampy. We are training for the vice president's physical fitness test. Now, before the end of the semester, all of you will climb the giant rope and ring the average size bell. Pablo, girl, won't you come on tonight? Ah, music class. No ropes to burn your dainty hands. No belt sanders to get your ponytail caught in. Think only Dika can do that? Think again. Each of you will be singing a solo at an assembly in front of the entire school. For the love of Fuzzy, tell me this day can't possibly get any worse. Thus ends our regularly scheduled school day, PA. It can't get any worse. Yes! Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh-oh. One more kiss and you'll have to make that bell your date to the dance. Dance? We're having a Sadie Hawkins dance. All the girls have to ask the boys. My life is unrecyclable trash. <gasps> You're supposed to drill holes, but you chose to nail those dolls to the board. Why? Because it was easier? This place isn't about easy. It's about right. Going for what's easy leads to a flabby mind, unsafe napkin holders, and may even lead you to losing a pancreas to the circular saw. You want easy? Join the nap club. You want to challenge yourself to something better? Then get your rear in gear, Pearson. Jeez, so I can't cope with wood shop. I can cope with everything else. Okay, kidlets. Training, day three. Now, who wants to take a shot at climbing the big rope? Pearson? The big rope? Nope, can't cope. Gonna have to do it sometime, Pearson. How about you, Noah? Oh, my arm! Hello? Would you like to sign a petition to ban sudden shouting in our school? That's it! Everyone's against me. I'll start a petition to have shop dropped as a required class so we won't have to take it anymore. Pepper Ann, when you had your sit-in to make the Cutie McCootie Boys the official band of the Millennium, I didn't say anything. But this is about a class. You simply can't. Sign a petition to drop Woodshop as a required class? Nikki, Milo, everyone in school and the guy who sells flautas at the soccer game signed the petition. There's still a little room left on the bandwagon for you. No, thank you, Pepper Ann. 
I choose to keep challenging myself and striving for excellence among the Naughty Pines. Sorry, PA. I'm documenting his angriness in a boxed set I'm calling Raising the Roof with Mr. Reason, the Surly Semester. Prepare for the album's final cut. Au revoir, witch up, bye bye. Project inspection tomorrow. I don't want to see any uneven edges, people. Mr. Reason, I wanted to tell you. Are you telling me or the floor? Everyone in the school, except Nikki and Milo, signed this petition to have Woodshop dropped as a required class. I'm going to give it to Principal Hickey today. <laughs> See, in the funny papers, kid, you don't need a petition to get rid of me. You're quitting? If they don't want to learn, I have a fishing boat that needs attention, and I am due retirement. I can't believe it. I shall be revered for ages hence. For I, Pepper and Pearson, killed Woodshop. There is no way we are killing Woodshop. No way. Oh. We have over $500 invested in new drill bits and three gross of tourniquets. Now, who's supposed to teach the class? The art teacher? Uh, yeah. That works for me. Oh. Uh, you have detention until further notice. I had to do what I had to do. Okie dokie, people. Training, day four. Who's climbing that big rope? That'd be me. Where was I? Oh, I was about to say how harsh Mr. Reason was when he demanded we push ourselves. It just had to be that he was making us face our deepest held fears, whether we thought we were ready or... Oh, hold on a sec. Oh, I've been to Senegal, and I've seen Bombay. Mr. Reason's tough love ways didn't make us more confident. They just made us more scared. Hey, Craig, have you heard about the Sadie Hawkins dance? Believe it. So, should I pick you up at 7.30 or 8? 7, 3, 0. Oh. Pepper Ann, what has happened to you? You've turned into a confident, rope-climbing, solo-singing, dance-asking machine. And you told Reason about the petition, fully aware of his churning tempest of moodiness within. You could have just given it to Hickey behind his back. Sure, that would have been easier, but it isn't about easy. It's about right. Huh. Where's that from? Mr. Reason. Reason. Are you sure it wasn't from an episode of Touched by a Highway or Seventh Angel to Heaven? We're yeah, sure. Was it Mr. Reason who subtly helped me develop this current sense of self-confidence? Your wife said you were here. Turns out I had a couple more payments on that fishing boat, so, uh, huzzah, and welcome ye to Burger Fortress. Hast thou tried our French as a fried? I think I finally get why you were being such a jerk sometimes. What do you want, Pearson? I came to apologize. You helped give me the guts to use belt sanders and climb ropes and sing in front of the school and ask Craig Bean out and... Work up a petition to make my job obsolete. I was taking the easy way out. Please, come back, Mr. Reason. The petition didn't work. They're still making Woodshop a requirement. But the kids don't want to take it. I'm 62, kid. I still have my dignity. Huzzah, fair customer. Shall I fetch ye some mutton fingers? I can't believe this! You're the one taking the easy way out! Listen, you want the French as a fried or not? Not! Oh! <clears throat> what? You're kind of disrupting the tranquility, B.A. What's wrong with you people? We could be learning to work with our hands and challenge ourselves, and you'd rather sit around and, and stuff your face with banana tarts. Have you tried these banana tarts? I'll have one. Let <gasps> <gasps> oh. hit the road. You're not Hemingway, and this isn't a sidewalk cafe in Paris. Constance over there has raw sawing talent that could blossom if she works at it. Dieter, that boy could be another Rolf Ubergarten, master of wood hinges. Milo, he may be the greatest shop sweep the world has ever seen. And Sissy, well, she's failing the class. But the rest of you, you all have such potential. When I saw you trying to take the easy way out, it, it made me give up. But then someone reminded me that quitting is quitting. I've never quit, 
and I'm not gonna start now. Speaking of quitters, I talked to Hickey, and whoever can't stomach this class can go off with Miss Bladar and have a free period. So, who wants the easy way out? Cool. All right, people. We're gonna get started on the toughest five-day project you have ever seen. All right! So great! But first... Who's up for some Frenches of Fried? Don't go away. Pepper Ann will be right back on Toon Disney. So, if the dance is on the 18th, then we need to have dates in place by the 15th. If I know Stuart, he'll want to have his schedule locked in by the 12th at the latest. Great, that gives you plenty of time to coordinate your outfits. Now, how do I get Craig to ask me? What a drag it is for you girls. I'm waiting around for a guy to ask you to the dance. Who's waiting? We're strategizing. Exactly. You've got to map out an entire plan, and there's still no guarantee that the right guy will ask you. All I have to do is walk up to a girl and say, Yo, Spring Fling, Love Can Park, pick you up at 8. Ah, it's good to be a man. Hey, plain clothes. I have something for you from Joaquin Sanchez. Who's Joaquin Sanchez? He's a boy at my school. He told me to give this to the public school girl who looks like Didi O'Shaughnessy, okay? Hey, remember me? I just wanted to get in touch with you again, but I don't remember your name. Would you like to go get some pizza with me sometime? Check one. Yes, no, maybe. Should I go? Oh, yeah. My name is Pepper Ann. I totally remember you. And pizza sounds great. Ahem. This might be a new development in your spring fling strategy. What if he asked you to the dance? I don't know. <gasps> this wasn't a part of the plan. Excuse me, ladies. I'll leave you to your scheming. My spring fling princess awaits. Hello, I'm Joaquin Sanchez. Well, hello, young man. Pepper Ann is almost ready. Please come in. You must be Mrs. Pearson. <laughs> oh, I'm Pepper Ann's Aunt Janie. Joaquin's a Latino name, isn't it? Uh-huh. My uh, family's from Argentina. Oh, how I love Argentina. The empanadas, the pampas, the haunting cry of the gauchos. Ay, ay. <laughs> uh, they don't make that sound. Hey, Joaquin. Hey, Pepper Ann. <laughs> That's my mom. She's driving. Did you ask me out just because I look like Didi O'Shaughnessy? Yeah. Psych. <laughs> Actually, I asked you out because from the moment I met you, you've been haunting my dreams. Oh, please. <laughs> A quacker spaniel. <laughs> I get it. You're pretty funny, Joaquin. Thanks for finding me. Yeah, I, I hope we can do this again. Buenas noches, senorita. <gasps> Mom! I said just a second. All right, come on. Keep breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth. And then he kissed my hand. <laughs> well, he tried, but his mom started flashing her high beams. How <laughs> romantic. Oh, hey, Papa Ann, wait up. Uh, what's up, bud? I don't know if you heard, but the monster truck rally's in town this weekend. I love the monster trucks. Well, maybe you'd want to go. I, I was thinking it'd be, uh, you know, like a date. But you don't have to if you don't want. Cool. Pearson, stop with the Google eyes and get back on the track. Sorry if I got you in trouble with Dugan. Oh, look! The SUV of Doom! It was no biggie. She just made me come to school early and run laps. Oh, yeah! Try and buff that out! Oh, I hate getting up early. Come on, Enormo! Knock him off the chassis! Well, how was your date with the jock? It was great, but I kind of feel guilty because I also like Joaquin. They're both great. And then I feel bad about Craig, even though he hasn't called. Oh, by the way, Craig called. <gasps> Maybe he wanted to ask you out on a date, huh? <laughs> oh, and it rains it. Porsche.
I just don't get it. Why are all the guys asking me out suddenly? You have been carrying yourself with a certain self-confidence as of late. Men love it when a woman is sure of herself. Maybe they asked you because all the other girls are taken. When Mesro turned him down. Hey, it's her loss. I've regrouped, and I'm going to ask someone else. Just don't ask Pepper Ann. She might get asked by three guys to the dance. Three guys? Three guys? I can't have three dates. Can I? No. But how am I supposed to pick one? Go with your heart, P.A. You can never make the wrong choice if you listen to this, baby. Of course, I went with my heart when I asked Gwen Mesro. And what good did it do you? The heart is fickle and not to be trusted. The intellect must rule if you want to make a wise choice. But how? I found that most of life's answers are in books. <laughs> oh. oh, this isn't working. Wow, you look great. Is it singles night at the synagogue? No, nope, I met this one at traffic school. You're not the only one going on dates. Ooh la la, runs in the family. <gasps> Mom, he's picking you up in a limo. Yes, he's a driver. <laughs> well, there's beefy shingles in the fridge if you get hungry. Bye! How did Mom get so good at this dating stuff? Men are like cars, vroom vroom. They are big and strong and stay in the garage. Women are like tennis. Their favorite word is love, but you have to play it by the rules. To see if a man really likes you, make him do things he hates. Hmm. Like the knights of yore, a man will fight for his lady to the end if he is truly worthy of her affection. Cool. She's the fourth girl he's asked. Well? Do you want us to find you a girl? I have a cousin. I can get my own dates, thank you very much. At least I don't have to wait around forever to get asked like you guys. I asked Stuart two days ago. Hey, do you want to go out again? I thought we could grab a burger. Um. Uh... What are you waiting for? Make him do something he hates. Let me just check my schedule. Ooh, all I've got open is Wednesday at 5.30 a.m. Breakfast okay? <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, it's not a joke. Peppy, Bud is here for your date. <gasps> hey. <gasps> Rule number three. An interested man doesn't mind sweating a little for his lady. Oh, look! Someone's giving away dumbbells. Rule number five. A man in love doesn't mind attending boring artistic events for you. What is this? They're not doing any jumps or spins or anything. Yeah, isn't it artistic? Rule number 32. If a man really likes you, he isn't afraid to let out his child within. Hey, isn't it cool? I think you should wear it to school tomorrow. Tess and Vanessa have dates. Constance has a date. Moira, the lunch lady's waxing her legs that night. Ugh, being a man stinks. Well, any minute now, the man of my dreams is gonna ask me to the death. <laughs> hey, guys. Your t-shirts look so sweet. It's not my size. Me neither. Not cool, Pearson. Not cool. Ooh la la. Maybe I should have paid closer attention to Rule 42. Make sure the men you're dating don't run into each other and realize that you've been testing them with a bunch of rules. <gasps> Pepper Ann, you didn't. You told me to get a book. Besides, why would my mom have the book if it didn't work? My mom has it, too. They've been discussing gender stereotypes and pop psychology in their Adamant Eve women's group. Oh. I'm sorry, Pepper Ann. I forgot to warn you not to believe everything you read. Even if it is in a book, there's just no substitute for critical thinking. Well, I guess I better go start groveling. Hello, Joaquin. I just called to apologize. Hello? Hello? Bye! Woohoo! Bye, bud! Okay, Dad, here's what I wanted to say. I'm sorry, Craig. I tried to follow some stupid rules in a book to make you like me. I guess you can't believe everything you read. I just hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me.
You're late. I had to go to three different places because you wanted this floral abomination. <laughs> that thing is as big as my head. I am not wearing it. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, don't you two look precious. Smile for the camera. All the girls who said they were washing their hair are out there mocking me. Even Moira. Her legs don't look waxed to me. I'm sorry I'm such a drag, Milo. It's okay. You're better than nobody. No, I'm not. I'm never going to get this dating thing right. <sighs> I should just give up and go home right now. Okay, later. Hey, Milo. Want to dance? I thought you were busy tonight. Uh, I had to wait for you to ask me out again, because that's what the book said, but you didn't. What's wrong with you? Aren't you like a car? What does the book say about this? Vroom, vroom. Hey, Pearson. Want to dance? You're not mad at me anymore? How could I stay mad at a girl who apologizes on a blimp? Just don't buy me any more t-shirts. Deal.